Spring training is underway. While I'm a football and a basketball guy rather than a baseball guy, the league version of spring training is critical to set up the 2019 legislative interim and hold your breath, the 2020 legislative session. I know we just finished one session, but 2020 will be here before you know it. Here are the three things you need to know about the league's spring training efforts. First, we are frantically working on our annual legislative quick guide and wrap up, two different documents. The quick guide will identify the bills that pass that require immediate municipal action. The wrap up is your one-stop shop for information about what happened at the legislature that impacted cities and towns. The wrap up includes bill summaries, our daily emails, and LPC minutes. Within the quick guide and the wrap up, you'll read about four critical bills, SB 34, SB 52, House Bill 119, and SB 152. All four bills set up interim discussion and deadlines at the city level. For example, by December, most cities above 5,000 in population must update their general plans to integrate moderate income housing and transportation according to SB 34. By January, according to House Bill 119, all cities above 10,000 in population must create voter participation areas for purposes of local direct democracy and signature gathering. We collectively are also on the clock with a deadline of July of 2020 to discuss public employee compensation, particularly around tier two public safety employees, according to SB 129. Second, we will speak to many groups in the next few weeks, ranging from councils of governments to spring conferences of partner organizations. We as a legislative team are happy to come anytime, anywhere, either in person or via video chat. Let us know if you want us to join a meeting to do a legislative recap and or an interim preview. Third, we're excited to host you in sunny St. George for the mid-year conference. League President and St. George Mayor John Pike has promised spring training type weather and we intend to hold him to it. At mid-year, we will provide a legislative update and we will have caucus discussions about your key legislative priorities for 2020. We also will have workshops from partners and sponsors, a concert and family fun fair, and a keynote address by recently retired FEMA director, Brock Long. In fact, ULCT will be Mr. Long's first official speech since retiring from FEMA, and we're excited for the dialogue about how cities can best prepare for emergencies and disasters. You can register on our website at ulct.org. Thanks for your participation during the 2019 legislative session. Your participation made a difference. We are excited to celebrate the start of the post-legislative year with you and Sunny St. George. In that regards, it's Happy New Year now that the session is over. April also means the start of the NBA playoffs, so go Jazz. And remember, the government closest to the people governs best.